Hello, brothers, and welcome to the Baku Talk News. I'm Haru Ren. Now, let's just get right into it. Our first story comes from Ivan Kevin. It seems to have been revealed that the new Geogons will get DECA versions. Ivan posted on Instagram on Friday that Acleon, as this is apparently called, is getting a DECA version, and that could only mean that the other Geogons will potentially get DECAs as well. So there's something for you DECA collectors out there, so let me know in the comments down below if you'll be picking up Geogon DECAs. But in our next story, it seems there will be a significant YouTuber that will not be at the Invitationals for the third year in a row. Kodok is a YouTuber with over 40,000 subscribers. He has made videos on Bakugan a lot, and his video series 7 Deadly Sins of TCGs are very insightful. Not to mention attended New York Toy Fair and given gifts from Spin Master, including the very first Fusion Force packs. But unfortunately, Kodok was never at all invited to the Invitational event, nor acknowledged as a Baku Master. I tweeted out to Kodok asking if he was invited this year because it was lingering in my head for a while and he said no. Spin Master hates me for some reason. I've asked them why and they never responded. Now there are a lot of theories that are being thrown around and also some that I have about this, but it's really unknown at this time and there are way too many unconfirmed theories. Who can really say except Spin Master at this point? But I personally think it's a missed opportunity not bringing Kodok, a guy shown to be very knowledgeable about these things to be in the invitationals. Just like how a majority of you watching this video is not subscribed to this channel is a missed opportunity. Please consider subscribing because it's free and I post pretty regular content and I work really hard at making these things. So please subscribe, I'm also very lonely. And in our next story, it seems after a whole year, Age of Oralis finally hit Canadian shelves. The news came from a channel called Hogan the Grim, killer name by the way, who posted a video opening Age of Oralis packs. In the video as well as the description, these packs came from Toys R Us here in Canada. This is pretty insane and hopefully every Toys R Us here in Canada got a shipment in. Not that Age of Oralis does me any good because I already got everything I needed from that set, but definitely go check out Hogan the Grim on YouTube, link in the description below. But in our final news for today, Armored Elite is now available on eBay. The Armored Elite box is now available on eBay by our good friends Cuckoo Toys. This comes after Cuckoo Toys put Armored Elite on Amazon and naturally because of the AB deception, people are skeptical about the box being on Amazon. At least now on eBay, people can rest easier if they still want Armored Elite. The faction bundles still are not on eBay, but they are still available on Amazon and they're actually available to be shipped to Canada now. So for everyone that wants Armored Elite, now is the chance to get them. There's been a huge major update to the AV Deception Scandal. You can check that video out by pressing the video to your left, as well as watching my review of Armored Alliance episode 26. Support Baku Talk by pressing that thumbs up, and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, encouraging everyone to stay safe, wear a mask, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye.